folks of Florida, y'all are, i just tell you a little bit about our filming schedule. Y'all getting ready to take it on the chin. Oh, man. And uh, as, a, as a state who has dealt with this the last three years, mm-hmm. so far we seem to have gotten a year off. Yeah. Um, man, our thoughts and prayers are with all you guys, all the first responders, all the people down there, the linemen, everybody coming in to get y'all back to life as normal as soon as that thing gets out of there. So, um, And that's where our friends – from the W sauce are based out of too. So I checked wow. in on them. They're doing fine. Um, you know, they used to it. I guess when you live down there, you just kind of expect it, but it still don't, well, this it still the, don't make it no easier. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, Ian, Ian's a big one. He ain't playing. No, he ain't playing. And, uh, I, and it's too late to get out of there. They say, yeah, well, they warned them a couple of days ago. Leave, leave now. Yeah. But, the, yeah. but you don't, you don't leave. None of them do. Well, that's, Buy that plywood. That's hard to do. Yeah. Hide it out. How you going to leave everything you yeah. got? Yeah. You know, but anyway, so we'd be remiss without mentioning that. We're for, praying for y'all. Absolutely. And everybody up north, too, because it's going to keep rip-roaring and snorting up through oh, there, yeah. through the Carolinas and everywhere else. So batting down the hatches, say a few prayers. and uh, Boy, I hope Talladega don't get rained out. <laughs> You want to go fast? I want to go fast. That place like a vortex, too. I need for speed. There you go. My OB's been like, oh, you'll make it to 37 or 38 (laughs) weeks. And I'm like, if you don't schedule my section, we're going to have words. I can't take it anymore. How many weeks are you? I'll be 35 weeks uh, Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, there's some tricks, Martin. We can get that sucker out. Yeah, right. Or those suckers. Yeah, but see, we're in that little limbo. Oh, yeah. We, we, she ready to get them out. <laughs> but. <laughs> but we ain't got nowhere to take them. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah like houses. I don't care anymore. <laughs> houses, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> house is not done. Close. Welcome. Not done. Welcome to Parenthood. <laughs> this is this is it. You're never yeah, you're never ready for it. Well good. We but, had Allison oh, jumping well, on a trampoline yeah. to get one of hers out. I don't know that we could get Big Mama on a trampoline. You will pee on yourself a little if you jump on a trampoline. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I pee on myself just coming down <laughs> yeah. the road. A little bump. Yeah. That's all it takes. Whoop. And a sneeze is clean up on aisle four. A so. sneeze. <laughs> a lot of things happen during a sneeze. <laughs> like not just a lot of things. It freaks them out. It freaks me out. Well, if you haven't guessed, we, we have a guest. We have a guest. <laughs> oh, we have three guests. Yeah, we have seven people in the duck call room today. I'm yeah. a trio in this, <coughs> as myself. Well, Cy was telling you, you got a glow about you. Well, yeah. thank you. Cy, what did you say when she walked in? Talking about how we've grown. <laughs> She's grew up. <laughs> grew up. I grew out. <laughs> Very much uh, out. Uh, I bump into things all the time. That's, Refrigerator doors. Yeah. Countertops. When was the last time oh, you I tied remember, your shoes? I remember it was like yesterday. Today, and it took every breath that I had left in me. I'd be cold and I'd snuggle up to my wife and the baby would say, no way. Bam. Get out of here. Exactly what they do. I'm not not kicked out of the bed. If I sit wrong, they they can't. Uh, Hey, now if I try to snuggle up here, that's what she does. She said, no, you did this. (laughs) So all your fault. Yeah, all my Uh, fault. Unbelievable. Well, this is probably, no, it's for sure going to be your last time on the podcast before they come. And there's there's a very real possibility – this will be my last time on here we before might they come. We see you for a minute, Martin. You never know. I finally got my gifts today. I showed up with them. I think the biggest gift you have for is what you're wearing, though. Well, you it know. is. I, 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 I knew Brittany was have. coming on today, so I wore my volunteer's Bill Dance hat. But also, I hate football and everything about it because I'm from Louisiana, so I'm, I'm officially asking for permission to join the Tennessee bandwagon. Come on, buddy. Go Vols. Co- oh, See, it got her so excited. Sounds so good. I'll I'll sing Rocky Top. It's not my home, but it's my uncle's. Hey. (laughs) Gotta count for something. (laughs) It does. Uncle Sammy, me, you, and Brittany, we're balls all the way. That's the good thing about us. We'll we'll let anybody come in. I'm interested. Because I know you like to yell at the TV. Absolutely. Yeah, Yeah. uh, loud. (laughs) And and often. 
Um, but and when, I don't have control over it. It's a, I tried to you're contain born myself. It. You're yeah. a volunteer. It just happens. It's, yeah, it's in there. But uh, well, it is good to have all those gifts. By the way, registry. That's how Allison does. Prime. Yeah, you don't want to go off. Do you ever go off registry, Sai? When you're buying someone a gift? I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> when you, you should... go off registry, you're basically saying, I know you told me what you wanted, but I don't care. I want to give you what exactly. I want to give you. So yeah. we just click, 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 we're done. That registry I... has needs. Absolutely. Just, just and we it. still haven't gotten size gift yet because. Oh, hey, it'll probably just be cash, buddy. Well, <laughs> then she can buy no, it. what I was well, going to. She really wants, okay? <laughs> well, that may be a new me. You never know. But, um,. <laughs> But no, Christine was like the other day, she was, what do y'all, I said, Christine, all our stuff's in boxes. I don't even know what we got okay. and what we don't have. Can, can we unpack and then I'll let you know what we're missing. She said, well, whatever it is, it's from us. And I said, <laughs> I okay, love it. perfect. It. Absolutely. Much appreciated. Because I was like, look, you go buy something really nice. Odds are we may already have it. So I said, don't let, let us get unpacked and settled in and we'll let you know where to go. No, from someone there. said, I, I was thinking about getting them a stroller. And then it said, no, someone's already done that, and yeah. it's a Cadillac. Yeah, My it daddy. was a big – Yeah, her, her dad went rogue about a month after yeah. finding out and, and showed up with a stroller come in nine boxes. He did. How many seats are on that stroller? Two. Well, that's good. It's a, he's thinking, actually, it he's came thinking, with six seats. He's thinking for that. The, the football How many team. dogs y'all got? <laughs> hey, no. Paul Paul is thinking about the future. He's thinking about a football team here. Oh. Well, oh. Hey. I'm it's just, a grow with me. <laughs> keep it to a golf team, y'all. You don't want a football team. No. I almost got a basketball team. I'm tired just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. We're, we're, we're knocking this out at like a team fishing tournament. That's where we're at. Hey, yeah. One you, day. Two fishermen and a boat captain. We're good. Sponsored by everybody. Yeah, Duck hole. Commander, Honey Hole. Yeah. Them old Martin by. boys going to tear them up. Yeah. Get Sponsored by. Oh, oh, that's good stuff. My goodness. Hey, it's funny, though. When Brittany walked in, she looked aside. She said, can, can, can I borrow your oxygen thing? <laughs> it looks right. real that's, good. You're welcome. To it is. I, and if you're full spirit of the man he is, said, give me about two minutes. It's all yours. <laughs> hey, you can have it. I ain't Run done it. Yet. Run it. I haven't been able to expand my lungs completely in probably three months. Why not? Um, Don't talk to me. <laughs> she's a very small person. Yeah, she is. I, I'm trying to keep it light and entertaining and laughing and fully expecting to grab my backpack at this afternoon at about 345 and see people in 72 to whatever, 96 hours. We'll see. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> so what, are they, what, are, what are they weighing now? Five? Okay. Two weeks ago. They weighed five three and four ten. Them kids all bigger than all my kids all. And day. that's just baby. That's not counting everything else that is in there. You don't even know where my organs are anymore. They're <laughs> they're just pushed all the way to the back. It's like that's why you can't get that breath. Them lungs are like there's too much stuff in here. Exactly. It's like an operation. You'd be struggling blow a duck call right about now. Oh, the thought of no, there's no way. <laughs> I don't think she's headed to the blind. You right gotta now. think about the logistics of this. Oh, it's insane. It is. It really is. I look at my belly that's, all the time and that's I'm like ten pounds of children. And that was two weeks ago. That was two weeks ago. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, now when they move you can see like their arm go across her belly. Oh no. Because that there is no more room. Like it's not it's like Oh, there's the pinky, there's his ring finger. There's, oh, no, no, no. It's the wild. First, the first time it did it, it freaked me out. Yeah. It is The weird. baby kicked his foot up and looked. It's like coming out of her stomach, like, uh -huh. you know, like the predator in that movie. <laughs> they are straight you know, up aliens. Going, yeah. Is that, is that okay or <laughs> what's going on here? When them two things, when, they, when both of them move now, you can look in her belly button and go, it does. It well, goes. It's out like a little signal. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> hey, hey. My kids never got that big. No. You got two big old bass. I had a couple nice crappie <laughs> when my kids it, came out. They started like, flowing. Yeah, they were like, "Hey, five pounds, time to go." Yeah, this time. In their defense, I cannot stop eating. Eat. It doesn't matter how much room I have. I'm forcing well, food. You're, yeah, you're feeding three humans. I'm so hungry. All the time. What'd you have for breakfast? What Martin make? Oh my gosh! Well, I had the leftovers for dinner at like ten. Already? Yeah. Mm. I made her a bowl of cereal. 
Well, that's nice. That's all she wanted to smoke. And two cookies, I thought. Yeah, then oh. this is and not this is not one of your normal bowls. This is the mixing bowl. The mixing bowl. Yeah, it was a pretty good one. I said, look, I don't I don't eat cereal, so I don't know if my proportions are right or not. I just poured stuff until the milk. There's no away. portion control going on. Nah. Yeah. You don't have to. Mm-mm. You nah. got like another couple days where you can soak put, it up. You can eat a chocolate covered grilled mm-hmm. cheese and nobody's judging you. That it, actually sounds really good. <laughs> that, that is that. disturbing. But <laughs> yeah. actually sounds she on that pint of mint chocolate chip ice cream about every other night right now. Seven hundred calories. Girl, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the problem. I lost like 30 pounds, and now we're back up to about 15 more. So go I like it. I'm I, glad Stone's I, I, not here. I see it now. I'm popping the lid off the top of it. 700 calories. Just yeah. yay, me. Yeah. yeah, no bowl needed. Yeah, <laughs> she's, done, she's done adopted my philosophy on them pints of ice cream. First thing you do, throw that lid in the garbage. There ain't no going uh, I, back. I ain't going to put it on. No, yeah. ain't no lid going back. Allison yeah. bought some new fancy one with a screw top lid. I said, what, 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 what was what, what, what Yeah, don't pay extra for, for that. No, no, no. It's just going in the garbage, yeah. too. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man well it's fun we're but we're at the witching hour so yeah. to speak we're 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 crowding it now so well britney's mom's here yeah britney's She's mom's. off camera yeah but it's like it's go time yeah we're it's all hands on deck she's, she's coming been... to the appointment with me and I, she yeah. is... i've always wanted to go because <laughs> crazy stuff happens every time there's this either is, girls, there's twins. It's a hey, this is the championship <laughs> game we're talking about here, people. Yes. And now yeah. it's on. <laughs> it's wild. It's hard to it's hard to think about. I guess I'll need to give you some context if I text you though, because I'm bad about that. Yeah, that's a we talk, we can, <laughs> I did we can, it again not too we long need ago. To yeah, let's let's talk about that after the next let's yeah. take our first break. Yeah. We'll, How do we'll, I word this? We'll go into that. <laughs> Hey, Britton. Yeah. Hey, uh, you look swollen. <laughs> Do you have inflammation in your joints? Absolutely. Solid? Well, have I got a deal for you? There's only one place on this earth you can find this thing. It's pristine waters of New Zealand. <laughs> what am I talking about? Omega XL, baby. It's the fountain of youth. They've run this muscle through a process, and they make two little small pills. I've had them. i got pain in my elbow right here, my wrist joints. Hey, I call them my first responders. I take two of them, wash them down with a swallow of tea. They turn on the side range, hit 150 miles an hour to the wrist. The pain's gone. To the elbow, the pain's gone. Martin, tell them where we can get this fabulous product. My favorite thing is he said, hey, Brittany, are you swollen? <laughs> no, not at all. But I look. Like Our friends over at Omega XL can help treat the underlying cause of the pain, which is inflammation. You take two pills, that goes straight to the source, gets rid of the inflammation. Boom, there goes the pain. Look, we don't produce near as many SPMs as we age. Omega XL helps you restore those SPMs. All you have to do to get not one, but two bottles. That second one's free. All all you got to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's it. That's all you have to do. You get not one, but two. And the second one's free. And you go to OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or if you're old school and all you got is a telephone, you can call 1-800-844-4888. That's 1-800-844-4888. Not one. But two bottles and the second one's free. And look, <laughs> your problems are over. Get on the phone and order it now. I started sweating when we walked down the wine aisle in Walmart yesterday. Hey, if y'all have that baby tonight, I'll show up with some sushi and the two bottles of wine. Oh, 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 talk dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the wine was just for me. So. Yeah, I don't know who to sushi for. I ain't uh, eating that. All right. Now, um, yeah, she got me another day with another good text message. I don't know how. Did you panic again? I don't know how comfortable you are with discussing this. It's but. fine. Oh, okay. It is what it is. Good, because I was going to discuss it whether you were here or not. So. <laughs> well, she figured did. so. So I get a text. I look down. You know, everybody, you understand where we're at in pregnancy. Nervous. Yes. No, we're not it's nervous, not, but expect any at any moment. At any time when I see a notification on my phone from her, I'm like, oh boy. Stop everything. Yeah, here we go. Where do I go? And it said, I'm leaking. <laughs> and I just went. I'm sorry. 
I replied back, I'm going to need more. <laughs> more content. I, I mean, like. A little more information. I give him it, such tires. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, what, what, where have we sprung a leak? Because, you know, the obvious thought is, oh boy. Yeah. Here we go. Water broke. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. but that was not the case. No, it was it, coming from the. From the top end, not the bottom end. So food had already started to come. Oh, okay. yeah. The, they decided to We're fire one of miracle of life. life. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it means it's time. Yeah. You might want to head to the hospital. <laughs> I, I called my nurse like immediately afterwards. I was like, is this normal? Yeah. Of course, first thing I did was found the first person who had given birth at this office and said, here, I need you to talk to Brittany, <laughs> which was Angela. <laughs> Thank God. Because I'm like, man, I don't know. Oh, is that normal? I don't, I have no idea. Next thing I know, she's sending me articles and like, like all yeah. the making me feel better. So yeah. I looked down and said, Well, I'm not. So that's a good thing. That's that's positive. Um, but you know, it, but here we are. Yeah, it's wow. So today I need to give you more context, is what you're saying. If uh, just today, type out a full sentence. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, today I'm going to ask that your mom actually be the one to communicate. Okay. With you. <laughs> She's so I've here. lost the job. Yeah. Yeah. You're out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're, 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 this is like 2 a.m. We're taking your cell phone. For Not it. enough details. Uh, this is, yeah. No, we're going to let your mom do the communication. I'm going to be sitting here ready to go, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, we'll find out. Your bag's packed, right? It's as packed as it's going to get. The name of this song is Freak Out. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> hopefully they say let's schedule it for about Friday or so, but. I mean, I'm Says not. Says you. I, yeah, I mean, I'm not. You, hey, you do whatever you need to do. You you. Do whatever happens. I'm just talking about from the state of our house. I broke so. out in a sweat brushing my teeth today. <laughs> I've been there. I, have you, though? <laughs> I have. I mean, it was about eight, nine, ten years ago, but I was there. But, you know, we share some very similar characteristics during that time. You know what I eat every day during that time? Ice cream. Waffle House. Waffle House. What, you do, you, what do you eat every morning? At Waffle House. You go to Waffle House every morning. They know me. They know my order. Yeah, but when they know I walk, my voice when also. they walk, when I walk in to pick it up, they're like, "Oh, you here to pick up for your wife?" Yep. I can see them too. They're probably they're like, "How are the boys?" Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah. <laughs> they want to see them when they're born. <laughs> the fine folks at Well Road Waffle House have contributed to this a lot. Those are going to be two strong young men. I guarantee that's you. what they're growing up on: eggs, hash browns, and a waffle. It's just like Tuesday nights for you. And I eat I love all it. of it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> just wait till you have them. You can eat theirs. Yeah. <laughs> I order extra for my kids. I'm like, yeah, you want the full thing? Okay, yeah. Double hash browns? Of course, man. <laughs> I'm on it. You know you want cheese on those. Do that. That's fine. That's good. Scattered, but... smothered, and covered. Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, I mean, it's. I'm just excited. I'm scared to death. Are you? Well, Are how? you scared? Well, yes, he's scared. I. It's tricky because I'm so un, I'm too uncomfortable right now to be scared. <laughs> I'm way too uncomfortable. It's the Lord, right there. <laughs> you. She just wants this nightmare to. <laughs> I am just done. ready. She's ready for these kids to appear. But yeah. if I sat and thought about it, yeah, I'm a little scared too, just because. Well, I'm terrified. It's two babies at one time. <laughs> they don't. They don't make you take no test or nothing before you leave there with them. No, they just they slap. Like the they DMV. just slap you on. They slap you on the butt and say, "Get in there." Yeah, and then when <laughs> they're then they <laughs> turn ten, and you're like, "Yeah, I wouldn't have passed that test anyway." So. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. There's, you know, they all say, you know, we probably got a week or even if it happened today, we'd have a week or a week and a half probably before we brought them home because they're technically premature or mm -hmm. whatever. And in high risk, but I'm like, you know what? As big as these rascals are, I don't know that we're not overachieving. And in 48 hours, they're going to say good luck. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> no not, instructions not, given. Not, 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 no, no, not there yet. I'm not mentally there. And I don't know that I can get there in 48 hours, but I can get a lot closer than I am right now. Because my main concern right now is, hey, painters, y'all need to get out of my house. Y'all need to go. Yeah, y'all oh, get man. the job yeah. done. Quite literally. Yeah. Quite. Literally get the job done and mow. Yeah. Move out. Well, I enjoy listening to your music. They jam. <laughs> I, they jam I, hard. I told one the other day. He said, "You you mind if we listen to music?" I said, "Mm." -mm. And then he turned it up. I said, "I have no idea what they're saying, but they sound like they're having a good time." <laughs> 
because it's all in Spanish. And I, I love it. I, and I struggle with Spanish anyway. I really struggle when you add music and go fast. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> and there's one that listens to, like, rock. Yeah, Spanish apparently there's, music. like, Nickelback in Spanish or something, because that's what Very it reminded me of. Yeah, it was bizarre. He man. likes that it's Spanish how... metal. <laughs> That's what he likes. What's even weirder is he's the one that's got a very good understanding of the English language. That's why he's... I guess that's why he likes the alternative rock, but in Spanish, I don't know. It's a wild ride. It really is. I my, got, can he come in? My favorite part... I got part, questions. Look, here's <laughs> a, my favorite part is there's like... It's like a crew of six or seven of them, and they're listening to like three different stations. Uh -uh. Well, at the same time. No, the, I, got, I got issues. Yeah, it's wild, man. It's very overstimulating. Yeah. It, it's wild. Because you go room to room, and you're like... You go from like Mexican restaurant to punk rock concert to beach time like oh, jimmy buffett to, like it's, hey they need to have that bunch in the delivery room <laughs> with all the music going a little mariachi band yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about hey <laughs> them boys wouldn't know what to do <laughs> oh, no, oh man they would they'd come out dancing yeah. <laughs> hey and the doctor raised his hand, don't you slap me. <laughs> I'll knock you out. I'm grooving, son. Right. I'm in a groove. Don't mess with the groove, boy. Oh, don't you my. slap me. <laughs> I don't think they do that anymore, by the way. Yeah, they do. Okay. They don't. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. I, no questions asked. Hey, yes, sir. That's just part of the tradition. Okay. You got you to gotta pop that butt to get them used to it. Oh, yeah. Can you ask them to do it twice? Uh, well, he's going to have to do it twice in your case. <laughs> <laughs> Twins. Twins. But you have it. You've, I mean, we're at the end, basically. Oh, yeah. But you haven't been on bed rest, have you? No. She like, hasn't put me, which you, is so weird. You're one of those, like, really good pregnant people. I guess so. It must be the hype. Might as well do it again. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's the vole in her boys. I've always wanted ball. to. I didn't think I was going to yeah. have them at the same time. Two but for one, Zale. We got a BOGO, so... I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push it. <laughs> Literally. Well, Martin, I got a guy. Um, yeah. Uh, me too. <laughs> yeah. I went to high school with him. <laughs> you didn't go to high school with my guy. He looked like Santa Claus. <laughs> I but, talked to him the other day. I asked him if he made house calls. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. I know. Right? <laughs> I would pay extra for that. I was willing to. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Surely idea. they can do it in the house, right? I don't know, but he, he... I don't know that you want to. Yeah, he preferred me to come to his office. Yeah, stuff. it's not a great memory. Yeah. So you don't want to think about it every time you go in the kitchen. It's but it's okay. I mean, I mean, the aftermath was the best part. I mean, that's the yeah. most fun weekend I've ever had. There I'm just going to say that compared to pregnancy and childbirth. I know, they're equal. <laughs> Brittany, I'm on your side. No, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. That's just a joke. Uh -oh. I, look, That's just see, a joke he said. I just like to do it to get a reaction out of it. I was, I've tried to keep this loose he has. and fun. And it has helped. The whole time. Like, you know, obviously I know. I've I've watched you. I can tell we're at the wheelbarrow stage. Like, <laughs> like Which, you'd rather be rolled around than walk anywhere. <laughs> and I completely understand it. Like, I need my own stroller. I get it. You know, you got one with six seats. Somewhere. Yeah. But she said, what she said two nights ago, she said, I need my pillow. I said, well, you know where it is. Knowing full well, I was going to get up and get it, but I just did it to see how fast her no, head No, and made. not to mention, he has told me countless times, let me know if you need your pillow, because it's a giant body pillow, like pregnancy pillow. It's kind of heavy. Is it a pregnant pillow or a regular person size pillow? No, it's a pregnancy pillow. It's big. Like, it's right. huge. It's it takes nasty. up my whole body. I have to carry it on my yeah. shoulder and like... As soon as she get done with it, it's coming to this side. Oh. Absolutely not. I will forever use that pillow. <laughs> forever. He told me thousands of times, stop going to get the pillow. And then the one time I get the courage <laughs> to tell him, hey, he will you go get... He smarts off. He smarts off. Trust gone. Hey, Martin. There ain't no trust gone. You knew full well when you asked what I was going to say. Quit quit playing. <laughs> I should have seen it coming. Early. Yeah. I mean, that's just part of the fun of it. That's, that's, I've tried to keep this as fun as we can because this situation that we're in, aside from twins, I don't wish upon anybody. Of remodeling your house and going through all this at one time. And, and so I've, I've tried to keep it as light as and entertaining as I can with such a heavy circumstance. Yeah. Pregnancy is beautiful. We're very happy about 
the twins, but the remodel is what made that tricky. Yeah, it's time to get back in our house. Yeah, I'm looking at the remodel right now. <laughs> Yeah. So I said, you yeah. add it on, all right? Hey, <laughs> this is an addition. Yeah, yeah. A couple, a couple thousand square feet. Of all right, we're going to take a break, and uh, we'll be back right after this. Look, if you've been listening to us for a while, you've obviously heard us talk about how much we love all the My Pillow products for Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy. Brittany, do you love those slippers? Oh, my gosh. Like walking on clouds. JD, I love the towels. <laughs> <laughs> do you what's Slide. your favorite thing about the towel uh, they're fluffy and right. they'll actually absorb the sweat and water off of your body i you. like how you said sweat first like you didn't well, get hey, in the shower i had to take a shower that way i'm proud That's of you i had to take a shower sweaty si likes a good pre-wipe before he gets That's in the right. shower but look my i like favorite, them sheets i was about to say me and the sheets and it ain't easy for you to be making a bed right now and them things are easy they just pop right on yeah, yeah. ain't nothing to it look Deep pockets it don't matter what you make mike lindell got it figured out don't matter all the products they're fantastic and right now, my pillow is having their biggest bed sheet sale ever. The my pillow percale sheets are available in a variety of color, and all sizes are on sale. For example, the queen size sheets are regularly priced at eighty nine ninety eight, and right now they're only thirty nine ninety eight with promo code duck at mypillow.com slash duck. Order now because there's a very limited supply. The my pillow percale sheets are breathable and have a cool, crisp feel. They have deep pockets fit over any mattress, and they come with a ten year warranty and 60 days money back guarantee you've got to check out the great specials for my pillow go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get up to 66 percent off and get the my pillow percale sheets for as low as 29.98 again just go to mypillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck order now because like all good things when they're gone they're gone But yeah, no, she's trying to say, she asked me, she said, they put two sheets up, one you can see through, one you can't. I'm thinking about taking that blue one down, just having a clear one. I said, so you can see. Yeah, because yeah, with I, a C-section, you don't get the the opportunity to see your children be born. As someone who has seen his children be born, <laughs> it's not something I really enjoyed seeing. It's not working. I mean, I liked it. Like, once they were like, here they are. Well, it's ever Carter, because that was a whole different story. Yeah. That was like, we're running him out. But the other two was like, hey, isn't this amazing? And I was like, can you hose that thing off real quick? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, I was just, she asked me my thoughts. I said, no, I, I'd rather not see that. And she said, why? I said, well, look, I've gutted a lot of animals. Yeah. My understanding of how this works, I don't need to see the innards that lay below, like, you know, small intestine, yeah, large let's, intestine. Let's leave, oh, Will you see that? Leave, I've yeah. never been part of a C-section. Let's leave I don't know the how history. You, I don't know how you can't. So leave it's a lot up. different when you're a human. I, well, I would think, and this is totally guessing, because remember, I only filled out half the application to nursing school, so yeah. I don't have a clue. <laughs> I would think all that's back behind all them kids, right? I would, but once they're removed, like, that, is, it a, looking, is it no, a window you, into the? No, you have. But see, I can't vision. stop looking. It's tunnel vision because I'm a nerd and I'm curious. So then I'm be like, now hold on, now is that her spleen? Now look at that thing, would you? Hmm, that's the pancreas. Oh man, that's tight. I'd Google it, but I'm terrified. Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I did that after one of my surgeries, and I'd have never went if I'd have seen that. That's a bad deal. I have but. often thought about, like, looking up how a C-section works, and then I was like, mm, better not. Well, the doctor, when my uh, son and my, my wife, uh, son's wife, had a C-section. Yeah. He said, well, you about ready to go, and let me just open you up like a cow? That's what they do. No, no, I'm serious. Yeah. Yo, know, but y'all got to talking there, and I'm saying, wait, what minute. hospital were you y'all at? Just, right? Y'all just brought out the curiosity to me. <laughs> Why does all this stuff still work? I know. It's, it's crazy. I mean, your intestines are, you stretch them out, they go for miles. Mm -hmm. And inside, they're all just in a big ball. Well, guess what? There's two big balls kicking them things all the time. That have those parts, too. Yeah. And those. Yeah, and I'm looking yeah. at I'm looking at all this and wait a minute. Sorry. How does all this work with all the changes that are going on? That's wild, man. 
This is insane. Ain't it? It's it. It's insane. Which is why I kind of want to see it. Wait till after if you're going to Google it. Okay. Yeah, don't do that prior. That's so maybe only... keep the sheet up and then Google it just so I know. I mean, what if happened. we want to, I can strap a chesty on the doctor. I'm glad they never. I did got that a chest mount me. GoPro I use for fishing. Well, they let some. No, no, like... I'm. I'm glad my wife or the doctor didn't say, "Hey, you want to watch this?" They didn't ask. No. You didn't have to tell them no. Oh no, I didn't because I wouldn't have had to tell. I, I was going to tell them no. Oh, <laughs> I, I watched my daughter get a, a little cut. Oh so boy! And it... I ain't some. You know, just... Yeah, Si would have been up on the neurology floor recovering well, from the concussion. Yeah, because he'd have just been out cold. Oh, See, I was oh just, no, and I that's was, so weird. As much in, as many animals that I've gutted, cleaned. I was about to say you're a hunter. No, no, but they're animals. They're food. Yeah, yeah. these are human. You're a human. Yeah, not that's food. what I'm saying. Oh no, when that doctor laid that scaffold to my daughter's leg. Yeah, and it literally blew open like a a firecracker. Oh, the way. Dang, like some Dr. Pimple Popper No, stuff? no, I'm serious. Because yeah, it was infected and it had a lot oh, of Oh, she had like an abscess yeah. or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I love it, those I, videos. He, did, he, he, didn't, chills. he didn't cut it. All he did was touch the skin and it... Yeah, just lanced it. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 I have a weird problem with watching those kinds of On videos. second thought, clear sheet, you're going to want to see this. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if, my, that's, if that's how you're acting over a pimple. No, my problem with it is this. I know I want to. Well, yeah. no, no. But then I'm afraid I'm going to go all nerdy, and then I'm going to really get to investigate. Well, no, no. I ain't going to let you do that. You're going to have to be calming me down. You're yeah. going to have to be, like, focused on me See, that's well. what I'm afraid of. I'll yeah. fail at that, too, yeah. because I'll be yeah. too interested. He now, probably will. You look like at my, the mirror on the roof. You look like my daughter. Hey, yeah. I, I took, don't know about C-sections, but... I in, took my daughter squirrel hunting. We get back and clean them. You know, and as soon as I open them up, she said, uh, what's that? I said, that'd be the kidney. What's that up there? I said, that looks like the heart. Well, what's this? You know, well, that looks like the digestive system. What oh. happened when you got that? Yeah, hey, this was Dr. So-and-so right here. Yeah. You know? Did you have a time with the squirrels and the bees? Oh, hey, I guess. Oh. You know, Phil, <laughs> Phil had his, you know, tall dice kid was the uh, crawfish. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did that with coal. Oh. Yep. I feel yep. you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I'm right there with you. Oh, uh, so I just had surgery to correct that. He's feeling. He, yeah. he looks great. Yeah, I I oh, heard no, no. you had surgery and it, you look really good. I oh, know, and it helped a lot. How was good. your trip? Huh? The trip was. Hey, do you? Here's one thing you don't ever want to do. Uh -oh. God did not create man to retire. You're not supposed to sit on your butt and do nothing. Because I did it for two days. That's that stupid implant. And it like to took me out. I thought you'd. I could not move. Oh, for two so. Days. Oh, so you I'm just. About, okay. <laughs> I'm not a zombie. Same. That's what's driving me crazy. No one will let me do anything. No, no. Won't let me do my own laundry. And I'm like, I can't just sit here. <sighs> but I also can't do things because I can't breathe. It's very tricky. A contradiction. <laughs> well, no. It's very tricky. You, I, when you can't breathe, you kind of get a little anxious. Yeah. When it's... you're trying to. <gasps> Because you can't why. get a deep breath. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Why she, can't you get a deep breath? I got two five-pounders just, just crushing my lungs. Crushing my lungs. Yeah. yeah. She been going through them breathe right strips <laughs> yeah. left and right, so I'm trying, yeah. I'm trying to keep help? them nostrils yeah. open. Yes. Yeah. I was borderline going to start wearing them during the day. Just, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I don't even. Hey, when they first come out, football players wore them. Yeah. Hey. Thinking that helped being out of shape, but it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> No, I love Breathe Right Strips. <laughs> They're my favorite now. Hey, if it helps. It use does. code DUCK. For, I'm just yeah. saying, <laughs> that's not Can true. we get a sponsor for that? Yeah, whatever uh, gets me oxygen in my lungs. Yeah, I'll take it. Lord <laughs> have mercy. That's good stuff. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. I hate it when I laugh because I... <laughs> like Santa Claus. Like you, you're out of big bull. Because you, cause you jiggle, jiggle. Ho! <laughs> it's a ho, ho. It's a ho, ho, ho. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, watch yourself. Watch yourself. <laughs> That's fun, ain't it? Don't pee. I know. <laughs> Don't make me pee. Oh. That's the crazy thing, too, is you can go pee, and then you sneeze or something, literally right afterwards, and there's more pee. It just doesn't. <laughs> It never ends. It never ends. It never ends. 
Well, dear, look, we're down here to the end of this. What I I need? What's the one thing? Because we're at the miserable stage. <laughs> For sure. And by we, I mean her. Because I'm not going to act like I've done anything. Which so. is good for twins, though. We made it all the way to almost 35 weeks. Amen. I agree. Before I've, I've, I was miserable. I have been nothing but shocked. So <laughs> Same. I mean, because you got two of them. It made me realize that one of them, you may have carried that rascal about 45 weeks. They'd have come out with two. a full head of teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, yeah, they ready. They hey, come, Mom. How yeah, creepy. Come out talking, you know. But what what's the one thing you're going to miss? about this experience i'm just curious you, feeling them move inside yeah yeah even though it's weird it 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 never gets old like it's it's weird every time it happens but i love feeling them, especially with when they like are moving t to each other you know like they'll i feel like they're kicking each other i, was about to say, I gotta be called, like you gotta oh, no, down. that's oh, called no. fighting yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can fight in there but when you get out this womb <gasps> <laughs> yeah, uh -uh. Oh, they're gonna do that too. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna have to separate them. Uh, but that's it. Uh, good stuff. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. I can't even lie. You do get to like just eat ice cream with reckless disregard. True. Okay, so two things. <laughs> Diet plan out the window. And it doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, and people are really nice to you when you're pregnant. Are they? Yeah, like people like out. Like people that you don't, of course, the people I know. Do people touch your belly nice. that you don't know? Yes, that kind of irritates me. <laughs> That's fine. I, I would think that I don't mind. It's never happened to me. Yeah. But it could at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most people just avoid me. Yeah. yeah. They don't ever come up looking Nobody to touch wants me. To touch my belly. I don't mind it when it's friends and family. Like, touch my belly all day long. That I don't care. But if I don't know you, Maybe you should ask first. <laughs> maybe. maybe you should just ask. Or maybe you should just admire from afar. Yeah. And I mean, you don't have to say anything because yeah. a lot of people will say. Whatever it is, they always say what, the wrong thing. What's yeah. the weirdest thing someone has said yeah. to you? They're not listening. Probably. I, and this was like maybe three or four months ago. And I was out walking and a guy, a random guy walking the other direction was like, you could pop any day now. And I was like, still got a little ways to go, yeah. but thank you. Uh, but there's two of them, so. Like, That's hilarious. Maybe you should have just walked on by. Yeah, maybe you should have just kept going, Chief. Yeah. I don't ever say anything. No. Just hello. Yeah. Yes. Hey, how are you? Well, the worst one well, is. Well, you look miserable. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. About to pop. Hey, you, you picked up. I would have just said it after you, you walked by. You picked up your weight since the last time I saw you. I mean, yeah, you idiot. I'm pregnant. Yeah. Yes. Well, there's plenty of stuff every day that I see idiots, and I don't, I, I think, but I don't say. Yeah. I don't know why people <laughs> have they the. They feel like they can say that to a pregnant lady. No, no problem. And why yeah. do you feel the need to vocalize it? Yeah. Just say, hmm. Whatever joke you thought was fun in your head, keep it in there. It, it saved me a lot of trouble sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But I generally let it fly because she's my wife. But, mm -hmm. you know, in general, in public, I, I, I can look and th think something. I don't, I don't necessarily have to say it. It's, mm -mm. it's wild like that. Mm -mm. But then I'll say, oh, well, it's twins. Because I got that comment a lot, not just from that guy. Like, it, a lot of people have said that to me repeatedly. <laughs> And it was early on, like I still had three or four months, but then I'm like, oh, it's twins. And then they're like, oh, well, you are just carrying those so well. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, well, well you don't just, switch well, on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just carry on, girl. Yeah, and I'm like, well, you. Oh, uh, Lord. That, that sort of scratches out the comment you made before, but. <laughs> you are just carrying those so yeah. well. Oh, since it's two, well, you're doing real good. <laughs> I've always wanted her to just look at somebody and say, no, nah, I'm not pregnant. When they say it, just to watch them crawfish. I should have, yeah. yeah Missed just, opportunity. You still got a chance. Yeah. You're technically still that's, pregnant. That's yeah. what my wife said when she was having a little, uh, she said, oh, I've just got a little fever and all this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just she, was had, she was had morning sickness, you know. Yeah. And, but you got to understand, she had been told by all the experts, you'll never have children in your own. I was telling, I was told the same thing. No. So anyway, you know, so I kept telling her, it took me 14 hours to convince me to marry her, you know. And, to convince you, know, you to marry well, her or convince well, her to marry you? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But anyway, because she'd seen me with kids, you know. So she was that, and then 
her, our next door neighbor, who was our best friend at the time, Sharon. Sharon's life. She said, "You're not, you're not having morning sickness for nothing, darling. You're pregnant." Yes. And she said, "Sarah, I've done told you. I, I've said, you know, I can't have kids. Yeah, I can't have kids. So it kept going, kept going. And finally, <laughs> Sharon just finally says, "Hey, guess what we're doing tomorrow, Miss Christine? You know?" And she said, "What?" She said, "I'm taking you to the doctor. I'm tired of you here." And I'm like, "No, I ain't pregnant. I just got a little fever." So. Hey, on her like in that's her like defense, the exact opposite. Us, she could have sworn she was pregnant. I said, "No, you're crazy." Cause nothing made sense. I was like, "This is my." You know when your whole body is off. But I was told also through my whole life that it, if I did get pregnant, it was gonna be high risk. It was gonna be hard to carry. But most likely, I wasn't gonna get pregnant. And then. Yeah. Here we are 35 yeah. weeks later yeah. with two, yeah. and you're about to go for oh, a run. Yeah, you got to yeah. think. Justin hey, and I have you're been You're looking together. at the wrong powers to be. Exactly, though. Well, hey, I, I know someone up there. I feel almost stupid for putting all my trust in them by saying that <laughs> because we've been together for close to 10 years, and everybody was about to give up on us. But I had not told people that that was going to be a hard thing for me to do, like get pregnant. So my mom was like, come on, y'all going to give me some grandbabies? His mom, my dad, everybody. And here we are, two in one shot. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> it's not the first time Martin's done that. It was babies it is. <laughs> yeah, babies it was. Well, uh, was pretty watch- good shot. I was yeah. watching a show, and I wish I had recalled exactly what this is, but it, ta- it called about, hey, God's never – He's always on time. Yes. Has to be because okay. this is the last thing we ever. Yeah. You know what he wasn't? Huh? A contractor. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> well, hey, they're never on time. And the cost is never what they say it's going to be. It's going to be bigger. But, um, every time. Yeah, every time. But yeah. God is I told always, him we'll never do this ever God again. is always on time. Yes. Amen. Well, You'll never be pregnant with twins and remodel a house again? Ever. God's got a sense or just the, or the Or the last one. Oh, hey, don't ever say never. Because I did that. Because I did a joke about getting married on April Fool's Day and then seven days later. <laughs> it happened. It happened. <laughs> and if you get pregnant with Sharon, twins again, you're going to need looked a at me. House. Sharon looked at me and said, Oh, is God going to get Bite you for that? If I get pregnant with twins again, I'm, get, we get I'm pregnant. sweating. We that get, made me sweat. <laughs> we get pregnant with twins again, one of them going to have to be named Jesus. Yeah, because oh, my Jesus. chances of getting twins again is like 80%. One, just because I've already gotten pregnant with twins, and then my age. Yeah. My, so my sister was kind of a similar story, and she got pregnant again, but it was just one. It was just one? But that one's crazy enough. For all of them. <laughs> She's crazier than the two twins put together. No. <laughs> she fits in with my family really well. <laughs> it's just wild. Uh, what's even wilder is like our, I was out messing with the yard and mess the other day while they were there working, and our neighbors come over, and they have twins. They're 19, 18, 19, something. Boy, girl. And then, uh, but they just found out. They're having twin grandchildren. They're firstborn. I said, there's something going on in this neighborhood now. They're the water. Of Gotta the be the water boy. Yeah, Gotta don't come be. drink that. Yeah, don't go in there. No, stay on no. that bottled water. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Don't don't come around there, son, unless you want a pair of them. West Monroe water will get you. Ooh. It will get you. <laughs> I guess it's coming straight out the paper mill. I don't know. That brown color should have warned us. Yeah. <laughs> That here we are. Water. We drank it anyway. But bottoms up. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's all the mercury and the fish in the river, too. Man, when I first moved here and I saw, saw what came out of the faucet. Hey, hold on. We're not going to bash our water here. I was like, why is it this color? We can't all be volunteers. <laughs> well, that's people that don't understand. I mean, we, we got to get ours from the ground. We ain't got no reservoirs yeah. around here that fill ours up. Yeah, yeah they, they told me. Go and we're at the bottom of the river. Yeah, yeah. so that's <laughs> all y'all stuff. Hey, my wife said, go take a bath. I went in there and turned on the bath water and, you know, put, put the cork in there. And I looked and I said, I'm cleaning that. <laughs> it looks like sweet tea. <laughs> I, 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 I went said, and pulled the plug and said, I ain't taking a bath. I said, water. I'm cleaner than that. I'm cleaner than that. <laughs> and he wasn't wrong. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you, no. then. Come yeah. visit West Monroe. Yeah. yeah. You'll love it. It's great. Hey, it's a lovely place to live. You'll, you'll love it. 
Sportsman's Paradise. Right. Sportsman's Paradise. For two months a year. Uh, easy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. And then we're going to get in that mailbox. What if there's three? <laughs> Bite your... <laughs> Johnny D. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can just tell you right now, if there is, it's going to be Owen party of seven or however many. That would, <laughs> six, whatever that would put. Y'all moving in with us? No, I'm dropping one off. <laughs> yeah. No, hey, I'm prepared for they, two. They ain't moving in. They just going to drop I'm one to off. to decide what I prefer. And we're going to skirt. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're it. I don't think me and like a little Brittany yelling at our TV about football would be a good. So I need one of the boys. Come for on. Sure. It would be so much fun. Just, yeah. You need, you need a me. You need a chill person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's enough high energy at our house. Oh, yelling at Jameis. Okay, we're not getting on that. Oh, go balls. Go. Yeah, Rocky Top. Anyway, Martin. Here we go. We had a guy come by the other day. We did. His name Alyssa and Justin from Alyssa East Tennessee. From East Tennessee. Go balls. What a good place. They live on Watch Bar. I mean Watch Bar. <laughs> uh, no, he actually said Watch Bar. So that's how you know he's really from Tennessee. He's, he's obviously heard me reference that lake because that's about what it is. It's a major gar, but oh, it's beautiful. Just hang on. He no dropped fit. off some presents. He, but he did. He dropped me off some presents. Dropped us off some presents. Some Tennessee onesies for They're the so boys. Cute. And in two weeks, then Vols play them Tigers. So wait. Uh-huh. Yes. I might have prematurely jumped the ship. No. Oh, well, I'm a Vol now. No, no, trust me. They will you be. Can't go back. <laughs> You're in now. Go balls. They will beat LSU, 100%. But he handed me a note, or there was a note in the bag, and, you know, it's just congratulating us on this. But he also said, if you have time, I have one question. My wife and I have been married one year, come the 25th, which was yesterday. So happy anniversary. Oh, yeah. That's mm-hmm. tight. Oh, because I, yeah, they were going on a cruise. Yeah, they're going on a cruise for their anniversary. So happy anniversary. We both travel for work. She is an ICU nurse, and he is a travel electrician. We both make good money, which is great, but we see each other only two days a week, which is hard for us, and we aren't able to do as much with church and volunteering with different things in the church as we'd like. Now it's just here and there. All of this has gotten me down, and I don't feel as close to God as I was. I feel like I'm just so busy. I'm running everywhere and can't find time to do more. How do I keep growing in Christ and stay on fire for the Lord when I feel so down for not being able to uh-oh, surround myself with the church people and I'm barely around my wife? Please pray for us. So uh, listen, Justin, first off, we will pray for you. Thank you so much for the gifts as well. One year of marriage, it gets better. <laughs> I'll say that. If you'd, if you'd ask us after a year, we'd probably be like, yeah, okay, all right, yeah. cool. Uh, it was hard. Yeah, that was fun. Neat. Yeah, neat. We, we learned to live with another human of the opposite sex. It's, it's weird. It's it wild. <laughs> so wild. It um, it's insane. It is that. But here we are. We're, but it's great also. Oh, absolutely. We're, we're approaching year eight. I mean, we're halfway done with seven on our way to eight. And, and I will say that's one thing Godwin kept telling us. Godwin and Paula kept telling us it, it gets better. And it really does. And it does. It gets better. You learn how to deal with each other and you learn how to handle things and keep things in the right stage. But as far as being busy, man, I don't know what to tell you about that. That's, that is tough, but it's the world in which we live in now. And here's the, here's the problem. Management. Time management. Time management. Yeah, that's all your that's all you're facing. That's all we all face. Okay, you it never fails. You never have enough time to do all the things you would like to do. Yeah. So that's where the trouble comes in. You've got to make a decision on what's important and what you're going to spend your time on. Right. Yeah. And with you wanting to volunteer and figuring out, there there are ways to volunteer with church programs and churches that don't involve you being there. Um, writing curriculum, doing <laughs> doing online Bible studies. There's all kinds of things. And it might you might volunteer in a very on a Tuesday morning to mow the yard or something like that. Yeah, um, it doesn't have to be Sunday morning. But I did meet these people. Mm-hmm. Um, they they swam by and. Uh, they were all. They were really nice people, and I think one thing that you're not taking into consideration is like you were on your way to a cruise, so you're doing that right. Like, whenever you both have time, take your vacations together and get away and focus on each other. 
while you can and you don't have kids. Exactly. And then, you know, in seven years, you'll probably look like Brittany and Martin, who at year one, it was like, ooh, and now year seven, like, look, look, yeah. look at these smiling faces yeah. across yeah. from us. Look at us making And even in, year, <laughs> even in year one, I would say you know, we're incredibly busy now without kids. We're going to be busy with kids. But I would say year one, we were even busier than we are now. Duck Dynasty was still going yeah, on. Yeah, we never saw each other. It was, and we I were, had just moved here. Yeah. We were we were separate, living in the same place. Not even as travel nurses, or I mean, because very hard tearing down the fourth wall. So I can tell you, Johnny Dean, tell you from a couple of episodes, you worked sixty hours a week to make twenty two minutes of television. Uh-huh. We worked sixty hours a week, and and so really and truly, it was looked like come home, eat a quick dinner, whatever that was, go to bed. And then on the weekends, the show was so popular, we were traveling, speaking, doing all kinds of things, which we still do. And I love it. It's just not at that pace that it was now. So every time, like even now, when I feel like, man, I'm so busy, I look back and I'm like, I ain't near as busy as I was about yeah. seven, eight years ago. <laughs> yeah. Could be worse. <laughs> well, and I feel that too, because I was I was with Willie everywhere. So I was, I mean, at the beginning of me and Allison's marriage, I was like, all right, see you later. I'm gone for a yeah. few days. And so... I, this is a good time to do that for you guys. Like you can travel now. You don't have kids. Um, Bankroll that money. Don't yeah. spend. And that was kind of part of one of the reasons I was attracted to leaving Duck Commander. As crazy as it sounded, was because I was kind of re- I did, I was tired of getting on airplanes every weekend and telling my kid, "Hey, have fun at your soccer game." I'm I'm gonna be in Wyoming with Willie, yeah. and so that while you have time to travel, do it and work hard and. Then in a few years, when y'all decide to have kids, you'll be able to slow down and you'll be able to throw your anchor out. Yeah. yeah. And Especially since you're young. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you both have jobs that can be done anywhere. Yeah, right. absolutely. I, and so right now, you're, you're probably making more money because you're traveling, which is a great thing. Well, and you probably, I know it, it says a lot in there, too. Now, I know where they're from, Watts Bar. There's not a lot of industry around Watts Bar Lake. Mm-hmm. That's a you're you're an hour, solid hour yeah. from Chattanooga, which would be a decent sized city. <laughs> I mean Chattanooga's a pretty big city. But up there on the lake, there ain't a lot going on, which is one of the reasons they probably have to travel to find work. Yeah. It's like but other than that, the biggest city around is probably that little city called Cleveland or something, which is Probably smaller than West Monroe, really and truly. I mean, it's a it's a LeBron James Cleveland. No, Cleveland. I'm <laughs> just kidding. That was so, a Cleveland. I mean, I exact get opposite of that. Yeah, Cleveland. I get why they travel to work because to find steady, yeah. good pay. I'm sure they have to. And, but, but then in a few years, if y'all want to, you know, find if you. You want to go to work in Cleveland, live on the lake. Then when you got kids, so they can be little river rats and everything else. I mean, I think it's all in due timing. Don't rush through the season you're in because it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Because uncomfortability brings growth and change and so don't don't rush through it now I, I admire you for wanting to spend more time with your wife and with your family and and all those things but just that time's coming trust yeah. trust me that time is coming um you just have to get through this season of life to where that where when you do those things it doesn't hurt you financially spiritually physically whatever just i always say it man work while you're young I'm a big believer in cash in on the back end. Like, if you want to, you know what, you wake up and you're 55 and you're a traveling electrician and you look out there on that lake and say, boy, I bet them crappies is biting. And you know what you do? You go put your boat in the water and you go crappy fishing. That's way cooler than doing it right now when you're 25. <laughs> Absolutely. Because you're going to have nicer stuff. You're going to have nicer <laughs> stuff. Right now, your back don't hurt. If you still got to go crawl on that roof and run them wires at 55, you you hurting. Yeah. Uh, you, you you don't bend like you used to and, and things like that. But Alyssa, Justin, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much for the gifts. Yes, uh, thank y'all you. Are, y'all are incredible. That. And... Uh, Man, put some fish in Watts Bar. That place would be really fun if it just had some in it. You're so mean to that lake. He is so mean to that lake. It's a beautiful lake. Stack them, boy. Stack them. Hey, Brittany's super. By the way, I, so they, I ran into him. I got. I handed Brittany the bag, and she was so excited. Like, yeah. I was. I, she was so excited I about love, little, that, was, Tennessee that, ones. Hey, if you want to know how Tennessee excited she was, she sat down her Chick-fil-A bag to open that bag. That ain't happened in months. No. 
I can I just tell you that. You, I ain't got Chick-fil-A on my way here. I should have brought you some. Mm, look at her. Mm. Yeah, no, not much is going to separate me from Chick-fil-A. Yeah, right? whatever the highest le- member level on that app is, we got to be like double star that. We got to be like a three-star general. Oh, I have the, the points that I've accrued are yeah. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you have two kids, you're going to start accruing them even more. Yeah. yeah. It's the only place my kids eat. Oh, man. All yeah. right. Yeah, I think that's. Wait, is it? Yeah, Are we going to call this an episode? Yeah, let's wrap it okay. up. Dude. I'm super afraid that I did the exact same episode, Bible verse uh, the last time Brittany was here. Hey, let me just tell you something right now. We could all stand to read that book two, three, four, five, six, seven times. But I'm so doing if it we, again. If we run it, it back. Again. I'm doing it again Love just it. because it reminds me of them old Martin boys. <laughs> Ecclesiastes 4. Nine through twelve, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If they stumble, the first will lift up his friend, but woe to anyone who is alone when he falls and there was no one to help him get up. Again, if two lie close together, they will keep warm. How can only one stay warm? If someone attacks one of them, the two of them together will resist. Furthermore, the tri-braided cord is not soon broken. I just... Love yeah. It. Yep. We'll so probably, right now it's it's tough, but when yeah. I read that to him, I'll probably take out that part about the resisting. <laughs> uh, no, <Nah, them> <laughs> they're gonna be together forever. <laughs> I know they're gonna be best friends, oh. and that's what's really cool about twins. Yeah, uh, just they're gonna have each other for life, go through everything together. Even and, when we're gone, they'll have each other. Yep. I that took that. a quick turn. Good yeah. grief, we got a long time before that. <laughs> We're going to have to go eventually. <laughs> uh, and speaking of, Brittany's ready to go. So we yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got to head to the we got to head to the doctor's office. So yeah. Mama, let me know what they say. Well, uh, actually, uh, tell your mama to let me know what they say. She has officially taken over that <laughs> job. Yeah, she is um, she's communications liaison, but we'll see y'all. I'm working next, on it. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room. With and who, twins. Who knows? We may have some additions to talk about. Next time Brittany's here, there's going to be twins. That's, oh, 100%. That's crazy. That's wild. All right, we'll see y'all. We're out.